Dennis Tinarino was a famous athlete in the, in the 70s, 80s, a bodybuilder. He found himself on the wrong side of a cancer prognosis in 1990. This is after he served time in prison. He gave his life over to the Lord after, you know, living a life of crime after becoming a famous bodybuilder. He competed 67. He, he was a runner-up to Arnold Schwarzenegger at the Mr. Universe. Uh, he has an interesting story. You can check it out on, uh, he's got a book. Uh, he Unfortunately, Dennis passed away in 2010. He became a successful bodybuilder. He got uh, kind of spun into a life of... Uh, of crime. He was involved in one of the largest escort rings in California. Fast forward to 1990, he received a prognosis. He has two weeks to live. Two weeks to live. Dennis was sent home to die, basically. But he would have nothing of it. He First thing he did when he came back home, him and his wife cleared out a room, called it the war room. And here's where Dennis went to work. This is where he started to, to, to declare all the healing scriptures in the Bible. He listened to healing uh, cassette tapes, this is back in the 1990s, 24-7, off and on, he'd listen to sermons, and he just immersed himself with healing scriptures, and he declared his healing. Now, the doctors are giving him two weeks to live. Dennis Tinarino lived two decades, two decades. He was healed by his faith and the work of Jesus Christ on the cross, healed him, and he lived two, two decades, not two weeks. So maybe somebody tonight has a prognosis. Um, uh, a cancer prognosis or your back is against the wall you need to declare God's word search ruthlessly just like Dennis did for all this healing scriptures and declare those scriptures over your life and take captive any negative thought. if somebody uh, says something to the opposite you need to take captive that thought or that maybe keep that person at arm's length for the short short period because we don't want any negativity we don't want to have any negative thoughts because the enemies come to kill, still and destroy. He'll take, he'll, he'll try to destroy our faith with, with different seeds of doubt. But uh, th there's an encouraging story of Dennis Tinarino. He's one of the top bodybuilders in the 70s and 80s, one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's peers, and he was four-time Mr. Uh, Mr. Universe. So um, maybe somebody out there tonight needs to do that. This seems to be a constant theme tonight, uh, yeah. Corville, declaring the word of God and Amen. believing. Amen. And, uh, you know, just before, time is going, but we, know, we just want to leave truth with you. Remember, the truth you know will set you free. 